everyone, I'm your host Divya Pal and you're watching Screen Biz, where we seamlessly integrate the thrill of entertainment with astute business strategies. Whether you're tracking the latest box office triumphs, staying ahead of industry trends or delving into interesting revelations from the popular names from the industry, our comprehensive coverage ensures you're always well informed. In today's episode, we give you a lowdown on Indian movies that did extremely well at the box office in the first six months of the year. In 2024, box office revenues are outpacing those of 2023, driven by the success of the recent blockbuster Kalki 2898 AD, which revitalized the Indian film industry across multiple languages. While Hindi films saw a slight dip in earnings during the first half of the year, Malayalam cinema experienced a significant threefold increase, buoyed by the success of three major hits. According to a half-yearly report by Omax Media, films released in the first six months of 2024 grossed over rupees 5,000 crore collectively, marking a 3% rise compared to the same period last year. Kalki 28980 led the charge with earnings surpassing rupees 772 crore in India alone, contributing 15% of the total box office revenue for the year so far. Malayalam cinema's share of the pie surged from 5% in 2023 to 15% in 2024, surpassing its entire revenue for the previous year. Thanks to the stellar performances of Avesham, rupees 101 crore, Adu Vijitham, the Goat Life, rupees 104 crore, and Manjumal Boys, rupees 170 crore. The standout month clearly was June, dominated by Kalki 28980, which accounted for 60% of the month's total revenue. Other notable performers included Munjia, Maharaja, Jatan Julia 3, and of course Chandu Champion. Kalki 28980, originally a Telugu movie, has performed exceptionally well at the box office in its Hindi version. Released on June 27, the Hindi version made rupees 22.5 crore on day one to rupees 23 crore on day two. 26 crore on day 3, rupees 40 crore on day 4 and around 16.5 crore on day 5, bringing its total Hindi collection to over rupees 1 to 8 crore. In Bollywood, Fighter kicked off the year with an impressive rupees 199.45 crore box office collection in India. Starring Hrithik Roshan and Deepika Padukone, the film was declared a hit. Bollywood experienced another hit with Teri Bathumim Esa Uljhajiya featuring Shahid Kapoor and Kriti Sanan, which collected rupees 80.88 crore in its lifetime, according to Bollywood Hangama. Other notable hits included Munjia, Shaitan, Article 370, Crew and Madgao Express. On the flip side, the biggest flop of the year was Bade Mia Chote Mia starring Akshay Kumar and Tiger Shroff. Despite a reported budget of Rs 350 crore, the film earned just 59.17 crore. Another box office failure was Medan, which collected Rs 52.29 crore. Interestingly, no Tamil film made it to the top 10 list in the first half of 2024, contrasting with the three entries in the same period last year. Consequently, Tamil cinema's contribution to overall revenue fell by 5% this year, while Hindi films saw a 2% decline and Telugu films remained steady, bolstered by Kalki and Hanuman. Notably, Deepika Padukone starred in two of the highest-grossing Indian films of the year, Kalki and Fighter. 